An interesting fact, carbohydrates and protein have the same amount of calories per gram, four calories per gram to be exact. Molecularly, they are each comprised of what we call a carboxyl group, which consists of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms. Protein differs slightly in that it has a nitrogen atom attached. When the body breaks down food, it utilizes more energy to take apart protein molecules than it does carbohydrate molecules because of the addition of the nitrogen atom. Now, once the body breaks down protein, it now has the ingredients it needs to make carbs, which get further broken down into glucose. And it can also repurpose the broken down atoms to serve other functions throughout the body. Which brings me to today's topic, Amazon. Right now, I'm gonna reveal four interesting things about America's favorite online shopping destination that you probably know nothing about. Welcome to Leonard Innovation. My name is Justin Leonard. Thank you for tuning in. Before we begin, I want to bring to your attention the Leonard Innovation website where you will find a growing number of free resources for entrepreneurs like my 90-day online launch guide, which contains a list of actionable steps you can take to launch an online business. Also, a course for entrepreneurs was recently added. Again, everything is free and you can check out these and other free resources at leonardinnovation.com. Okay, now let's discuss the four things you didn't know about Amazon. Number one, Amazon is in the lending business. Their exact involvement in lending is unclear, but they are probably more of an affiliate where the loans are being underwritten by a bank and Amazon is getting a cut for referrals. If you think about it, Amazon generates most of their revenue via an affiliate revenue model, meaning most of their money is made by, in this case, indirectly promoting a bunch of smaller sellers. And in turn, they get a percentage of each sale. By the way, the percentage Amazon takes can range anywhere from eight to 45%, depending on the category in which you are selling. So it would make sense that they would engage in other affiliate-like relationships, in this case with the banks, to generate income. If you're wondering, the loans are based solely on your Amazon earnings because as a company highly invested in data, they can see how well you are doing. So the loan amount presented is usually gonna be easier to obtain, maybe even guaranteed, because they probably wouldn't offer an amount you are incapable of paying back. Also, if you accept the loan, the payback amount comes right out of your account each month. Could they maybe one day act as a direct lender and begin competing with the banks? When it comes to Amazon, never say never. Number two, Amazon is involved in the commercial liability insurance business. For sellers generating approximately $10,000 a month, Amazon requires them to carry commercial liability insurance. The coverage threshold amount is $1 million. For sellers who don't already have a commercial liability insurance policy in place, Amazon works with a broker to facilitate coverage via several companies. So, they don't act as an underwriter for the policies, but we can assume that they are not recommending these insurance companies for free. It should be noted, however, you do not have to go through Amazon's recommended insurance providers, but you must upload proof of coverage in order to maintain the ability to sell on the platform. Number three, Amazon Prime deliveries may not come from Amazon. If you are a member of the Amazon Prime service, you might assume that your products are originating from an Amazon warehouse. And for many items, this is true. However, for sellers that have exemplary shipping and delivery standards, Amazon engages in sort of a partnership whereby sellers can list specific products and in turn display the Prime badge as if your order would be coming from Amazon under a special program termed seller fulfilled prime eligible participants can list as many products as they want as long as they can deliver them 
within two days. So on the buyer side, what happens is you will probably sort products by whether or not they are prime eligible. You then place the order. When you receive the order, it won't be in an Amazon box and it won't have any reference to prime on the outside of the box like that black sticker. That's because the order came directly from the seller. What seller fulfilled prime tells me is that Amazon doesn't have the capacity to warehouse everything. They need a lot of help delivering and maintaining the prime service level. So this program and working with top rated sellers is one way they're able to expand the service. Now, one interesting thing to note is because, as we talked about, Amazon is also a data service. They now have the ability to show only the sellers who offer what you are searching for that operate in close proximity to you. So even if the Prime badge doesn't appear on a product listing and you are searching for pool noodles and you live in Texas, for example, the pool noodle listing recommended to you will probably be from a seller that is no further than a state away. And number four, Amazon has a highly favorable shipping agreement in place with the United States Postal Service that allows them to ship and deliver most packages for a little more than a dollar. Now, this is not that unusual for those of us in the stock market because we already know that the largest companies tend to have some sort of nexus to the government, usually a subsidy in place, which allows them to obtain various forms of assistance. An Amazon package can weigh 50 pounds, but if the postal service is handling the delivery, Amazon still only pays a dollar and change. On the seller side, Amazon also makes money by offering discounted shipping rates. For example, if the seller is using UPS, FedEx, or the postal service to ship packages, Amazon offers preferred rates for the same services. So this translates to huge profits for the company whenever a seller goes through Amazon for shipping services. Okay, let's wrap up. We went over four things that most people don't know about Amazon. One, they are in the lending business and they make obtaining funding much easier than working with a traditional bank. Two, they are involved in the commercial liability insurance business. So again, we see that classic referral or affiliate revenue model where you don't have to actually be directly involved in the business, but instead acting as a facilitator to generate income. Three, Amazon Prime deliveries may not come directly from Amazon. They simply don't have enough infrastructure to warehouse everything. So what they do is partner with eligible sellers to help ship those packages using the Prime service. And four, Amazon's partnership with the United States Postal Service allows them to ship most packages for a little more than a dollar. Don't forget, leonardinnovation.com is the place for free entrepreneur resources like the 90-day online launch guide, free courses, and more. If you found this information helpful, please share it with a friend. Thanks again for tuning in.